Hi guys, I'm Ed. I'm Harry. Now, on Friday, the new Nintendo Switch was announced, and we're here to discuss it. Indeed, because it could be said that we have somewhat differing opinions on it. Kind of, yes. I think it's actually a great idea for Nintendo. Sure, it does come across as vaguely gimmicky with those silly detachable <laughs> controllers, but I think it's a great step. Whereas I think it is pretty much just a gimmick, and it's more the same which you've seen from Nintendo, and I'm not convinced it's the step Nintendo needs. So, the, the whole the system, for those of you who haven't seen it, if you've been living under a rock, is a screen device that has two controllers that slide out from the side that you can then put in a dock, very similar to the Nvidia Shield, which will then make it appear on your telly. To pick it up, you simply put the controllers on it, pick it back up, and walk about like the guy with the dog in his advert. It's apparently that's what the system's gonna be, and in the trailer we were shown different IPs like Mario, Zelda, even Skyrim, although they haven't confirmed Not that yet, that no. was the thing. I don't think they're allowed to by, by law. But I think this is great because everyone's kind of going, oh, but it's going to look shit because it's... When have Nintendo games ever looked great? Mm. Nintendo don't have the graphic fidelity that Xbox or PlayStation have, but by God do they have better games and better IPs. Yep, no, and that, this is going to be the thing that they need. They need people to be able to walk about with these games with better graphics than a 3DS, maybe slightly worse than a Wii U, probably better than a Wii U to be fair and then just be able to take that out and about and have both portable and console at the same time. I'll give you that, the Nintendo do make very good games, especially with their own IPs like Mario and Mario Kart and Splatoon, things like that with Zelda games. But when are you ever going to play that out and about with your mates? I mean, when you don't, you know, if you want to play a console around right, mate's house, you just go around there, you play on the console. Like, we're not the hipster millennials like they showed in the trailer. Like, we're not going to go out to a park and play video games. No, you and don't take park. it to a barbecue. Don't be that bitch who everyone's going, why the fuck is she here? And why did she bring a right. games console? You don't do that. And the other thing is, you know, like the little controllers, they look so tiny and fiddly. I mean, and the battery life, I can't imagine this thing is going to last well on its own, you know, when you take it portable. It's rumored for three hours of battery time which is kind of not, not enough, but that's probably something they'll address, because if they, bear in mind it's not actually been confirmed, so they're probably working on something. If we've got mobile phones that can run on four to five hours, then we could probably get something for this. I mean, this is running on the Nvidia Tegra, which is a new mobile-based system for uh, graphics, which hopefully means that it'll actually provide some power, and it's, that means it's also the only graphics card, well, the only console on the market that is run by Nvidia, which could either be a good thing or a bad thing. Sure. Well, as I said, I'm, I'm yet to be convinced. I mean, as I said, the games that Nintendo did themselves, like uh, Mario and Zelda, they could just do more of those for the Wii U. I don't know why they have to have a whole new console just to, you know, that's make a, new versions of the game. That's an absurd argument. Because that's like, no, yeah, it is. That's like saying, oh, why bother making fi uh, any, any sequel to any game ever on a next gen? It's like, well, why didn't you just make it on the PS3? It's like, because the PS3 is shit compared to the PS4. Well, I mean, we made a better console. Why, they, would you want it, why would you want to halt it there and be like, well, make this game on this instead of having better technology to have better graphics and maybe a bigger space, maybe a bigger map and do stuff like that? How long has the Wii U been out for? Uh, five, six years? No, less than that. They're abandoning it straight away. Mm. I mean, you know, all the people that come to the Wii U, who said that won't happen with Switch? I mean, that's kind of a kick in the face to them. Yeah. I think that's a real shame. And, you know, Nintendo, as I said, the games make themselves fantastic. But, you know, third-party games, they've been known not to support them so well in the past. They say they're going to but for they, this But this one. is a totally different matter, because the uh, Wii U had 10% <coughs> of the kind of people mm. that they have this time. And also, it's got Unreal Engine 4 announced to support, which means mm. the entire scape of games that they could do is vastly improved to the Wii U and the Wii. Potentially, but it's still not nearly as powerful as a PS4 or an Xbox. Will uh, that matter? I guess only time will tell. I don't think so, considering that currently the Wii U has better games than the PS4 or the PS uh, or the Xbox One. They're well, just more enjoy <laughs> Well, they're games that that's they're, fun. Opinion. <laughs> they're fun. Whereas you kind of get you get rehashings of franchise across all of them. Mm. But I feel like the rehashes of franchise on there are games I'd rather play. I'd rather play Smash Bros. than let's say Call of Duty Zombies on either an Xbox, a PlayStation, or a PC. And like I said earlier, people are going, oh, but it's not going to look great. It might only have 900p screen. I don't give a fuck. If I want proper graphic fidelity, I don't go to Xbox or PlayStation either. I go to a PC. I'm not buying this to have the best graphics in the world. I just want 60 frames per second of whatever game I'm playing so that it looks good. And apparently the 3DS is already pretty good. The Wii U is outstanding. This is mm. going to be better than both of them. And it's going to be, I think it's going to look great. Well, I think we'll have to wait and see how it performs on the go. Because, I mean, you know, portable console gaming, uh, the Vita was a great console. No one played it because there just wasn't enough going for it. But there was no third party support for it. There were, certainly not, not as much. Not as much, admittedly, no. But, I mean, again, all these partners that have been announced for this console, we've yet to see how many of them are actually announced big games for them. I think that'll be where we get to decide whether this game is, this console rather is good or bad. Yeah. Say. We've seen the lineup of games in the trailer, like the Mario one, a new Splatoon, a new Mario Kart, mm. a new well, Breath of the Wild, and also even Skyrim, although like we said, they haven't confirmed that. But 
who knows, let's hope that the new kind of large mm. list of people get announced and actually release some big games. Although, no Rockstar, so probably not going to be seeing any GTA games on there that you could take out and about to bat Shame. people with. But anyway guys, we hope you've enjoyed this brief discussion on the Nintendo Switch. Switch? Yeah, Switch. Switch yes. I keep calling it Twitch and getting it wrong, but we hope you've enjoyed this and we hope that you guys like it. If you do, let us know in the comment section. If you think it's crap, also let us know in the comment section. We want to know what people think. From a lot of the yeah. polls that we've been checking, most people say they're actually quite interested and want to buy one. So maybe it's less of a gimmick than the Wii U. And I think come March time we'll be buying one ourselves, so you'll get to see us play it and, you know, it's just games to play for that console itself. Absolutely. Anyway, guys, we'll see you in our next Hog Off episode. See you then, guys. Bye, Zs. Yeah,